we're standing here in front of the Citation CJ4 prototype. This really is where it all started. We built this aircraft uh, largely on production tooling, which is somewhat of a first for the level of uh, tooling that we had to build it. We really wanted to do that from the beginning of the program so that we could assure ourselves that our performance repeatability was solid all the way through the test program and leading into what our production airplanes were going to turn out to be. So we're very, very uh, pleased with how that has uh, culminated in a very effective uh, program. We have a little over 1,300 flight hours on the three flying aircraft now, and uh, those aircraft are doing extremely well. Uh, we've been through uh, our normal program challenges like every program does. We've handled them extremely well. The team has done an outstanding job. I couldn't be more proud of my team here at Cessna and uh, we, are, uh, we are excited to get this airplane into the, into the customer's hands. Prototype here is focused right now, has been through all of the aerodynamic development and has uh, solidified all that, the stall characteristics, the stall speeds, the things that we do from an aerodynamic perspective on the airplane have been completed and uh, it is really focused on aerodynamic certification, performance certification, which is what it's doing right now. Uh, we're lucky today because we caught it on a break uh, I'm sure that it, uh, the team won't let me down and it will be back in the air just shortly. Um, but, uh, but we are uh, excited about the uh, progress we're making on that and driving to certification. Our other two aircraft, uh, we have uh, our first production airplane and our second production airplane in our test programs right now. Both of those aircraft are deployed into system certification for the airplane are going fairly well. And uh, we are uh, excited about the progress being made on that front as well. Beyond that, the teams are working uh, fast and furious to get through the paperwork and the, the shuffle that goes along with that uh, to get through the certification side and uh, achieve our full FAATC. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. Why the CJ4? Well, we took a look at the marketplace, uh, but the lar largest reason for the CJ4 is our customers asked us for it. Uh, they've been asking for a little while for us to take the next step from the CJ3 and, and build on the CJ lineage, and we've done an outstanding job of doing that. Um, the value package that we offer in the CJ4 is, is uh, unprecedented in the marketplace uh, while maintaining the price point that we have on the aircraft. What comes in the CJ4 is you get, uh, you get an increased cabin uh, legroom, uh, increased volume in the cabin. Uh, we have some increase in the uh, cargo capacity or baggage capacity of the aircraft. Um, there's a big move in the performance side and uh, I think the market is going to be extremely pleased with what we are going to certify from a performance standpoint and I'm happy uh, to say that we've done extremely well against what we committed to in, in the uh, initial offering of the aircraft. So uh, we believe that this airplane is the right airplane at the right time for Cessna Aircraft Company and for our customers and uh, we're excited and believe they are extremely excited to uh, get their hands on this airplane. In fact, I get asked every day, can't you do it a little faster? Can't you get us a little quicker? Um, but the, the customers that I meet with uh, who are uh, just outstanding to work with um, have done a, a great job of really giving us insight into what they wanted in this airplane. Um, we listened to the customer from day one on this program. And uh, if you look at what we showed at MBAA when we announced the airplane in 2006, and then what we brought back in the mock-up uh, in 2007, you can really see how we listened to what the customers were telling us about what they wanted in this airplane, um, whether it uh, be equipment, uh, technology, um, and uh, just general niceties uh, like legroom in the cockpit. And we worked really hard to optimize that so that uh, uh, we could deliver not only our aircraft on schedule, but deliver what we really uh, believe that the customers wanted to see as a whole in the aircraft. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its VTAIL design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits 
than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. We started looking at concepts for this airplane in early 2003, um, so that kind of gives you some lineage. Here we are in 2009 and on the, on the precipice of uh, uh, TC for the airplane and leading into the first half of next year starting deliveries to the, to the, to the customers. Um, when I step back and I look at what led from uh, that stage of that early voice of the customer, those concepts start to come together in our advanced design arenas and a lot of R&D studies and what technologies are ready to be implemented and you know the aircraft programs are very intense, they take a lot of effort and a lot of energy and uh, they tend to be a uh, longer life cycle for development. Um, and so as a, a result of that, you really have a challenge to focus on what is this airplane going to be expected to be when it actually delivers to the marketplace, even though we have to start now with this CERT basis and understanding what's coming there. The other thing is you have to really watch and see where regulatory requirements are changing and the outside factors that I call uh, that influence what you do uh, with the aircraft design. Um, it's a very large team. It starts uh, in our adva advanced design facilities. Um, from concept and layout stages, we work our way into detailed designs, um, all targeted at what we uh, launch out of a project activation manual, which really defines the program requirements for what this airplane needs to be. And that really focuses more, on uh, more than just the product. It focuses on the product as a large part, but it also focuses company-wide on what is this program supposed to deliver. And uh, so that really culminates in what we call a project activation manual, which is our launch vehicle and tells the whole team what we're going to go do and how we're going to get there. Now, of course, we uh, like to incorporate challenges and uh, we do uh, come upon those challenges from time to time through development programs. And we take, that, uh, we take those lessons as we go along and we tactically change the things that we need to change to make sure we still deliver on our commitments to the marketplace.